Doug and PA back with another one. Guys, we all know that the wall comes for every single woman. They smash right into it, okay? Mother Nature gives them their physical gifts up front, and then Father Time takes them away. Some women are able to duck, dodge, dive, and dip and weave away from Father Time longer than others, like Jennifer Lopez. Because up until a couple of years ago, you could argue that she was still seen as some kind of sex symbol and relevant. Yeah, well, not anymore, because her latest tour has had to cancel multiple days because no one's buying tickets. It's Jennifer Lopez, and her, her time is up, guys. And I always thought that she was mid. You know, she was a heavier fly girl back in um, the uh, in Living Color days. And her music is literally a product of the late 90s, early 2000s. So this was her when she was younger. And this is her now trying her best with the plastic surgery and stuff to, to try to look pretty when she's like 58 years old, guys. Come on, man. So I found this article. It's called What to Know About Jennifer Lopez's Re Tour, Rebrand Canceled Dates and Low Ticket and Album Sales because no one's buying tickets. Here's the thing. Men, we don't find her attractive and women don't relate to her music, so, so she's cooked. We're going to go over this article. Before I do that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It shows you support me and what I'm doing over here. And let's get into this. It says... Jennifer Lopez's upcoming tour has seemingly undergone a rebrand with some online advertisements now referring to her tour as a greatest hits concert series instead of as a promotional endeavor for her latest album, which suffered from low sales. So now she has to do the, the, the greatest hits tour to make any money. It's just like when these female actresses all of a sudden, instead of playing the little starlet, they, they have to play the mother-in-law and the mom in movies. <laughs> Uh, it says the tour schedule to run from June until August in North America has rebranded as a, a greatest hits tour instead of a promotional run for her latest album. The tour previously titled This Is Me Live, according to Lopez's social media post from February, now goes by the title This Is Me Live, The Greatest Hits. Many tickets are still available for upcoming shows two months after they went on sale, like August 16th and 17th shows at Madison Square Garden. A string of seven dates between August 20th and August 31st were canceled in March, which Variety reported is likely due to low ticket sales, though People Magazine reported the cancellation were because of a logistical issue with tour promoters. No, women just can't relate to her, her, her music anymore. Men don't find her attractive. Women don't care about her music. She's done for. It says L Lopez released her latest album, This Is Me Now, in February, which peaked at number 38. Her lowest charting st studio album ever. The album charted for just one week before departing the Billboard 200. It sold 14,000 copies in the first week. Um, alongside the new album, Lopez released two films, a documentary titled, titled The Greatest Love Story Never Told, which follows Lopez creating the album and a romantic musical film, This Is Me Now, A Love Story, loosely based on her relationship with Ben Affleck, who co-stars in the movie. The film's trailer, thanks to its large list of celebrity co-stars and its seemingly bizarre narrative, went viral and sparked both fascination. I've never even heard of that, guys. Have you? She had a movie with Ben Affleck? Okay. So this is the important part. $20 million. That's how much Lopez spent on her latest album and the accompanying film and documentary, all of which was reportedly self-financed. So she paid for her own films her own album, and no one's buying it and no one's going to her tours, guys. Her time is up. She's cooked. Her time has come. And we'll see how long her, her, her denial for this is because a lot of women who've been told that they're attractive their whole lives, they they go through this denial period and then watch. It, well, it depends on if her and Ben Affleck say married or not, but but if Ben Affleck and her divorce, you're going to see her saying, it's not fair that I'm older and ageism and blah, 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 blah. So she better stay with Ben Affleck because she's cooked. Cooked. What can you say, guys? Did you ever think that Jennifer Lopez w w was attractive? And why do you think that no one's going to her tour? Like I said, her music was a product of the, uh, the late 90s, early 2000s. And to me, it was never any good because according to a documentary I saw about uh, Ashanti, uh, Ashanti recorded the initial version of the songs for artists to listen to when they were pitched to them. And all the songs that were pitched to um, Jennifer Lopez from a certain producer, 
Ashanti was singing over the track and they kept her vocals in there to strengthen Jennifer Lopez's voice. Anyway, Father, time has come for Jennifer Lopez. It's, t it's time to pay the bill. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.